how to teach kids about minority mental health. Hey there, I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for Youth. Thank you so much for joining me. July this month is the month for National Minority Mental Health Awareness. Now, I know it's only celebrated mostly in the US, but honestly, let's take a moment, no matter where you are in the world, to actually honor this this month of um, raising awareness for minority national health because let's take let's um let's actually take a moment to realize that it doesn't matter where in the world you are we have different forms of minority cultures within our area within our nation right so and one of the things that it it is is known is that mental health uh, resources are not widely available to those of minority descent. So we want to be able to raise awareness for minority mental health so that children, specifically because we're talking about in, in our schools or at home, children of minority backgrounds don't know where they can receive support and they don't always get the kind of support that they need. So let's raise awareness so that our kids know what kind of supports are available to them. And also, let's also take this moment to realize that it's not just, even though we want to be able to raise awareness for minority mental health, because that's what we're focusing on, other kids also struggle with mental health issues. And it's a really great opportunity right now for us to focus on how to help our kids um, who are either str uh, suffering through me uh, mental health or um, who aren't there yet, but who might, who might um, Get, get to that point one day and we don't want that so we can give them the resources and the tools that they need right now so that they, they can see the signs for themselves and get the help they need when they need it okay so let's get started with this the first thing that I would like to talk about is obviously raise awareness so what we're gonna do is talk to children about the different cultures out there now you can't talk about every single culture there's just too many cultures out there right so we're going to um, talk about um, just raising awareness about culture in general. We're going to look at stereotypes and all the stigmas that are associated with those um, cultures so that kids can know that they aren't true and that they're, um, it's just, it's not the way what we really should be believing. And it allows for more than just tolerating each other, but really being able to embrace one another once we see the what really is true about different cultures and what what's beautiful about different cultures and one of the things you can do is I've got a resource or two resources actually that you can check out if you click the link where it says full episode in the description and go to step number one actionable step number one raise awareness because all you have to do is print it out and actually give it to your class it you can use this for an entire term okay so you and it's no, um, there's no prep for you. So it's just teaching your kids and actually having them teach the class about their cultures. Pretty fun there. The next thing that I like you to do is look at provide, provide resources. That's the step, num step number two, provide resources. So obviously I can't go into all of the details about different resources because it depends on where you are located and the resources that are available in your area. But if you were to click the link in the description, I've actually written down three different journal prompts that I'd like you to take a look at. Um, well, the, and I'd like you to actually answer these questions uh, and then look at the resources in your area based on these questions, because I think it's a really great starting point if you decide to have this conversation with your kids, okay? So again, go to the link where it says full episode and look at actionable step number two. There's three points there that I'd like you to, to answer before you work on this lesson, okay? Number three is teach self-regulation. This is so important because um, like I was mentioning earlier, if we want our kids to be able to push past some of those mental health issues, we need to teach them to regulate their own emotions, their thoughts, and about what they are, who they are, where they come from, all the negative connotations, all the negative voices in their minds. We want to be able to help them calm that down and find a, a peaceful center. And the way to do that is to teach them how to regulate their emotions. And I've created a resource there for you to be able to help you create a calming area on a minimalist budget, meaning you already probably have most, if not all these resources at home 
or in your classroom. All right. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, I, let's recap quickly. We've talked about the importance of raising awareness for minority mental health and really looking at mental health in general. And the three ways to do this is raise awareness. So we're looking at cultures. Number two is provide resources, what resources are available. And there's three uh, journal prompts there for you to actually focus on. And number three is teach self-regulation because it's really important to help calm our minds and our bodies. Okay. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you again. In the meantime, remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.